in our American culture, we are often thought of, uh, our value is based on what we are able to create, what we do, uh, our work ethic, and what we're able to accomplish. So often, uh, our whole value system is based on how much we make, uh, what are our wages, our accomplishments. It's as if that our security is predicated on what we're able to tangibly create out of our memory, of what we think about, with our intent, with our hands, and with our motivation. So often, capitalism is looked upon as something very productive and worthwhile in the fact that it gives us a redemptive process of preserving life on this earth. And that's correct, while life on this earth. But I'd like for us to look at something in a different spiritual venue. I'd like for us to listen to Romans, the fourth chapter, and it deals with Abraham. Verse 1, chapter 4, Romans. Abraham was, humanly speaking, the founder of our Jewish nation. What did he discover about being made right with God? If his good deeds had made him acceptable to God, he would have had something to boast about. Look at me. Look what I did. God found what I did great. But that was not God's way. For the scriptures tell us Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. And God counted him as righteous because of his faith, because of his belief, not what he did, not what he created, or what he could show God, but it was because of his faith. Verse 4, And when people work, their wages are not a gift, but something they have earned. But people are counted as righteous, not because of their work, but because of their faith in God who forgives sinners. David also spoke of this when he described the happiness of those who are declared righteous without working for it. The interesting thing in all of our spirituality is that our righteousness does not impress God. It is our faith in Him, our believability of taking what we believe and making it a reality in our lives. That's what, that's what Yahweh found favorable with Abraham, is that faith is what received the blessing of God. Faith turn the key to see what God saw in Abraham as a human being. Did you know the only thing that we can do for our Heavenly Father is praise Him, acknowledge Him and praise Him, and let Him know that He is our God. That's the only thing we can offer to Him that He doesn't already have. Do you think the Israelites gave sacrifices. Did, did God need those sacrifices? No. He wanted them to be disciplined enough to know how to give something out of, with a grateful heart. It's not wages. It's not what we can create. It's our faith in Jesus Christ. Think about that. As we now walk, in this Wednesday, today, how are we demonstrating our faith in our God? How are we living out our faith? How are we making Jesus a reality in our lives that people can see his life living in us, which demonstrates our faith because we're taking up our cross and following him daily? Pray with me. Father, we walk in this Wednesday. We offer all that we are to you. We offer a grateful heart. We offer our faith 
Father, we offer our blessing because that's what you want from us, for us to bless you. You've blessed us over and over again, but Father, you want us to profess your love for us and give our lives to you. Amen. I want you to enjoy the day today. I want you to offer the one gift that you can offer to our Heavenly Father. And that is your faithfulness and your praise in your life. See you tomorrow on Thursday. God bless you.